Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Today we are out here at the fairgrounds in St. Petersburg, Florida. It is about an hour, 20 hour and a half from uh, Orlando and the major theme parks if you're in the area. And this is a completely immersive art gallery with different rooms designed by different artists. And it's kind of all based around this mermaid motel. And there's a mystery going on. And you can kind of piece together things as you look around the rooms through newspaper articles and visiting different rooms of the motel and stuff like that about this missing honeymoon couple and some mysterious stuff going on uh, about them. But uh, it is amazing. It is amazing, some of the art out here. And everywhere you look, there's something to see, something to touch, something that will involve you. And uh, we're going to give you a brief peek. So come take a look. Inside this giant warehouse, which is known as the factory, is a section called Fairgrounds. And this is an amazing, fully interactive art gallery where there are just multiple artists that have contributed to this. And it tells a story if you can sort of figure it out and, and get involved in the mystery. And you start right away here at 275 South, headed down to the Mermaid Star Motel. And notice that that road just goes right into a portal that looks like a hurricane there. Yeah, that's part of the story that you're gonna start figuring out as you get there. And that teleports you into this world. And this is a fully immersive, interactive world. Look at this motel. And the motel, I mean, it's got various rooms, balconies, different places you can explore. And it's, it's just, I mean, this is a wow moment. I mean, right when you walk in, you immediately are just like, holy moly. Now, going into the lobby of the motel is when you start picking up clues that something is not quite right. Now you're going to look around and it looks like a regular lobby of a motel. You got your brochures and I really like this. There's a nod to the old terror on Church Street attraction. <laughs> but um, it, it looks like a fairly normal motel lobby. But notice there's some things on the table there. There's a, an album and you start looking at this and it shows, well, there's a Hurricane Felix and there's some different things about a break in at the motel. And then you notice that there's a honeymooning couple that have been reported missing. And you start noticing there are also missing posters for this couple. And as you start flipping through things and looking through things, you start uncovering different clues as to things that could be or might be happening. Um, there's something about the Fountain of Youth there, that, which is a theme that runs through it. And when I say it's fully interactive, I mean, look, you can... You can use the phones. The more things you press and touch and activate, the more clues you get. There's a phone in another room that you can pick up. It gives you a recording with some more information. And basically what you're, what you're trying to piece together is, you know, what happened to this missing couple? Now, here's one of the rooms in the motel, and you find out that this is the room that the couple was staying at or staying in when they were, were visiting the motel. And you can look through it and sort of uncover different clues, uh, even go through their stuff. And notice there's some weird stuff in there too. There's some weird symbolism, and there's some eyeballs. But you can go through the, the stuff in their suitcases. And what sometimes just looks like stuff stuck on a wall, if you start messing with things, you get more little clues and things that, that light up on the walls. Now, <clears throat> we started knowing that something was off when we entered this room that had all these light bulbs and things, and there's something missing uh, right there. There's something missing in that cubby hole. And as we wandered out into the swamp through the flamingos and things like that, we, we noticed that there was this abandoned van that was sort of disassembled and all uh, awry. And we noticed that there's the missing container. And it's some type of weird device. It's got a code on it. And as you start putting things together, I'm not gonna give you a whole lot more, but as but because I, I don't want to give any spoilers or, or things like that, but but as you put things together, don't be surprised if you come across a spaceship disguised as a giant twisty treat right there. And when you go inside that spaceship, 
you can find all sorts of other clues. It's a fully interactive spaceship. It's got different controls and things to give you clues. And you can push buttons and turn knobs and light lights and find transmissions between uh, this alien species, which has something to do with cats, as you'll see right there. Now, like I said, I'm not going to give you a whole lot more uh, information about the, the, the story that's going on and and all that, but let's just suffice to say that, man, this is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. And you really start getting involved in the mystery and the art, in the immersiveness, the, the interactivity. You become part of this world over here at the fairgrounds. And it's just, it's, it's crazy amazing. And not only that, I mean, there are so many photo opportunities as well. If you want to get a ton of Instagrammable moments, I mean, there are all types of things that you can pose with, you can stand with, you can you can get inside of. Uh, it's just, I mean, it, it's, it's like a whole other little dimensional world that you've stepped into. So I cannot recommend the fairgrounds highly enough. It is so, so cool. This is just a tiny little piece of what is out there. You've got to go out there and check it out for yourself and get involved in this world. You'll be able to spend several hours with the family just going through this. So there you go. That is a look inside the fairgrounds at St. Pete. Like I said, it's about an hour and 20, hour and 30 drive from the major theme parks in Orlando. And uh, we didn't quite figure out the mystery of the, of the missing honeymoon couple, but uh, we have an idea that they stole this secret device and then everything went wrong from there. But uh, if you want to try and figure out the mystery, come on out here. It is amazing. Like I said, there's all kinds of stuff to, to interact with, to touch. To, you, you never know what's going to happen. We just started touching stuff and things were lighting up and it's, it's crazy. So come check it out. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.